it's, it's, I got this stylophone, I have to operate the camera, so. Um, no, we couldn't find anything about psychic vampires or energy vampires. You couldn't find anything legit about that. Vampires who don't really drink blood, but they still drink the life out of people. Hey, they drink so. Yeah, they, they suck it. They said at a coffee shop, apparently, from what I understood, all I got from it was, they sit at a coffee shop, and you on your iPad, and they staring at you. And I've seen some people staring at me, and you know what we do, what do we do? I usually stare right there. Yeah, you give them this look, yeah, like... Yeah, staring. Yeah. <laughs> look, what? What? <laughs> what, you wanna come fuck me in the asshole? And they usually run. Right. Because, you know, but... We was looking into it, and I mean, damn, yeah. there was nothing to be found. But, Couldn't find nothing. But it's usually a bunch of white emo kids with the black fingernail polish on, and like they 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 like I don't know indie rock and shit, and they hang out really late at night and do ketamine, which yeah. is cool. Let me open that bitch. They roll around in. I mean, like that. But no, they don't do that. They just like. They roll around in cheese poops. In black lipstick and leather jackets. And, and I was like. Bread. But they, there's a question. What I ask you? What's, what's one thing missing? Without garlic. Without the garlic? What's Without it, what's the garlic. Did, are we going to get to the film? Now, the. Uh, what was it? Dracula movie we watched. It was horrible. It was so <laughs> horrible. I, I, I yelled from Not the top impressive. of the mountains for no one to watch it, but I didn't realize it was out that long. Not impressive. Man. But what, what is it missing? There's one special type of person that you never see in those movies. Did you see one black person? No! Not. God they're damn not. right. They said, fuck real. this shit. Fuck real. Count Dracula. I know the cereal. I'll go buy some if I want some. Amen. Amen. But I was like, these are the whitest motherfuckers I ever seen in my life. I said, where's the black man? They was blade. They had blade back in the day. Which was badass. I didn't even watch the movie. It's like, Wesley Snipes is my hero. Sanford, you back off. I know those looks. We know. We're on to you. We know it. We've been trailblazing this week, folks. What are you doing with that foot? Com cute. Completely trailblazing. Very cute, yeah. We were hanging out with the demonic clowns. Oh, that's why I gotta terrible. take my time, you know. I got some notes, but I just gotta take my time. Because I said I'd like to review the movies that we've seen. Because, you know, the world hates me. The world hates you. Oh, well, it's alright. I hate the world, yeah. so it don't, it, we kind of even out. So. But, let's see, what movies did we see this week? We saw, the, we, we mentioned saw the it. vampire movie. We saw it, chapter one. Oh. And then two. We and saw that. We saw seven. And you've never seen it before. This is not no. even the original. No, this I haven't. This is the new one. I didn't see the original either. And goddamn that fucking clown. He's a clown from outer space, which being a clown is just bad enough. And he just likes to fuck little boys. Well the the town is cursed. It's it's cursed already. Yeah. And the clown is he's like a what? demonic type entity thing. The biggest problem to her right. Biggest problem. He's only part of it. You know what the biggest problem is? Too many Even, dude, Just kidding. Never mind. I was how about did to they say handle something. those bicycles? I know. It's, Why does everybody got to throw their bicycle nobody, like to the side right. like it's a piece of shit? And those are some awesome right, right. bicycles. No one thought Like that. it was a $200 bicycle and he's Kicks a grown up in. now. And he's like, that's my bike. But every time he rolls up, he just throws it in the street. If I was driving down the road, I'd run over it. Right. That's horrible. But that was a sweet ass bike. Right. Dude, no back one... in that day when I had my hoffy with the radio on it and I listened to Little Richard, 
If you fucking threw my bicycle down, I would fuck you up. The only way my bicycle got fucked up is if I was trying to do a backflip off a hill or down. And I, like, we do crazy tricks. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Makes why sense. it wiggles a little bit. Makes sense. Uh, Mister. God. What? Uh, You're almost as bad as a sloth. You know, we getting with it, man. It's really look. bad. And then, look, look I got this guy. He's just rolling around in his fur. Yeah, that's that's. I don't know who that is. Yeah, but I. He's the best rapper in the world. That's what like I, I was told. Hmm. Okay. He's but I don't know. Soffer, millions. And what else did we watch? We watched seven. Yeah, watched you seven. you watch you watched the movie Seven for the first time with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Yeah. But Mister, do you think? The guy who played... Okay, well... Oh, Kevin Spacey, the child molester. Well, yeah, but no, I mean... So Brad, Brad Pitt's character, I guess he was David Mills? I guess that was his name in the story? Now, do you really think that the serial killer put his wife's head in that box? Do you really think? Do you think he really did that? Yes. What was in there? Do you think that... I think he knows something. Or was it something else? Because... Morgan Freeman's character didn't even want to open that box. Like, he looked at it, he was like, ooh, well, he jumped. But we well, never what saw it, what was in there. Well, what had happened? Right. See, that's the biggest mystery of that movie. Yeah, yeah. But. It's scary. What it ha I think what is happening is the criminal is making another criminal. Because now he's going to start killing people and cutting their heads off and putting them in boxes and putting them. And saying and telling UPS, can you pick up this package? Right. Yeah, I got a package. Okay. I got I got a package from Morgan Freeman. Yeah, it was very eerie. And then he's gonna be like, very eerie. What the fuck? Yeah. You know? Scary. Scary shit. I hated uh, that. I hated it. Yeah. Yeah, but we never saw what was really in the box, and I thought, and I heard two things, you know, folks. If you've never seen the movie. I'm sorry. Um, just try to ignore me right now. But I just, I'm, I, it bothers me because I never, we never really knew what was in the box. We just assumed it was like a head, like a severed head. Oh well, I don't know. Call the police. And. the best light of all. Uh, that one. Next to Daniel. Look at that. Look at that guy. He's a barista. He's not doing too good. Well, what happens is when you take the garbage out at night, or in the morning, and you're wearing flip flops. You might give up. And you're wearing <laughs> flip flops, and you're butt naked in a robe, and all you got is that robe right. that you had since you was twelve. Twelve. And everybody hates it but you, and a pair of flip flops your father gave you, and you're running. And you're tossing this garbage in the truck. All of a sudden, you realize, what's that sound? And it sounds like somebody butt fucking. But it's you and the flip flops barefooted in that rope. And at that time, you realize, I'm making sexual music. Sexual healing. Yes! I was... I, I'm still laughing about this, because this is actually a true story. No, it is. It happened. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. Because I was like, no, nah, man, I'll get that, I'll get that. Because I was up early, and I don't give a fuck who knows. Good sleep, got up. And just fucking around. Because I don't have nothing to do, because 
Ain't like nobody gonna give me a job. Boy, I had these Adidas flip flops. And this rankety ass blue. It's a robe. Dang. It's a bathroom. It's a fucking robe. I said I look if it was white, I'd look okay. like Jesus. It's so sad. It's so old it's bad. But I was running outside and I was like, what's that sound? And it, it sounded like butt cheeks laughing, but it was my bare feet. There they are, right there. I know. I feel the And I was like, it sounds like two people fucking. Yep. Then I trolled some Christians ghost hunting. We know how that went. Right. I they told him, I said, give me two chili cheese burritos from Taco Bell. I'll slam that fucking ghost in the wall. That ended it quickly. They cut you out of the chat. Again. Again. They do it all the time. I know, but I don't care. Right. But your main point of contention is what the fuck happened to the shirts? They were supposed to sell Whoa, the shirts. They ripped me up. Right, right. What are you doing? Well, that's over Mr. with. Mr. What do you mean? How? Yeah. Anyway. Oh. It looks fine. No. It's, be fine. it's not fine, trust me. Mr. Oh. It, so it goes. We'll figure it out. So it goes. <laughs> it seems to be like that's how it goes with everything these days. Yeah. Can't make shit. Can't build shit. Can't. Don't get me started. And then, um, yeah. My grandma died. My grandma. Yeah, everybody's my dying. Died. Like, she and died nobody today. can build shit because grandma's dead. And I um, I never really got to know her. So, but it's sad. I, I don't really know, but I know he's got to be in pain, and my mom, she's in the mental ward, so, you know, it's just crazy. Everything's crazy. But, you know, I'm trying to hang in there. Well, I don't know. Oh, no, there's going to be more deaths in the future. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be Everybody's going to die. Right. So, what, what the fuck can you do? <laughs> and there are more all I want to do is put cans on a show. Yeah, you just try to get hired. But, you know, fuck them. Yeah. I'm gonna die. GQ Magazine is sending... I'm gonna die. I don't, I don't know how this happens. Right. My mom's like, I keep getting... She keeps bringing these magazines over. She's like, I I've never purchased a GQ Magazine in my life. No. But they come to my mom's house and they deliver the GQ magazine under my name. Actually, under my grandfather's name because it's Junior. I'm actually the third, so. But she keeps saying, I get these crazy magazines. <laughs> yeah, but you don't really have the same name as him, though. I mean, save for the middle name. Kind of bizarre that they'd even send you that. It's weird. Well, there's a lot of bizarre shit. No, I get the middle name Earl, which I don't mention a lot. It's the most cracker ass shit, but it's actually oh my grand and my other grandfather. Mm -hmm. Both of them straight up killers. <laughs> right. But it's fascinating. But I, I don't, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get magazines. I said magazines. Yeah. I used to. Give it up, Tony <laughs> Chen. Is this the house today? You know, you know, Tony Chen. He would have, he would have packed this. He would have packed, you know, he would have packed it up. Do you think he has an Amazon parrot? Well, he doesn't have an Amazon parrot because nobody can find his body. Okay. But, God bless him. Well, maybe he did. Maybe some old lady's taking care of her now. <laughs> Who knows? I hope so. Yeah. Tony Chen was a hot piece. I'd be down in the Caribbean with him like this. Shout out to... The parrot, he probably has. <laughs> Crazy. Hey. Give it up to the bananas. Give it up.
Most days, I think. Meth heads on four wheelers. I'm looking for that spring that came okay. out of my sand because now it's broke. Okay, uh... No, no, I, no, hey. Okay. We'll worry about that later. Or I'll step on it and it'll stick in my foot and I'll fall and bang my head on the counter. Uh, and no. shit, I, who knows what would happen. I didn't even bring the moon out here. Ain't that a bitch? Oh, Mister? What do you want to talk about? What happened in your week? Well, mostly, what I, what I was about to say is mostly, I just think we're lucky we haven't had bombs dropped on us yet. <laughs> I mean, I think about this every day and no one thinks about this. No one ever thinks but about Johnny that. But Johnny Depp is safe. I've been thinking about this for four years now. I'm like, I'm so glad we didn't get... <laughs> but Johnny Depp's safe. He got Wait, away from that witchy woman. Mister? Did that? How did that even turn out? Is is he still? I never got any follow up. No, he's not bad. Okay. No, that 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 she reminds me of my first wife. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Twenty dollars. Well, she sounded really crazy. And well, yeah, that's the way crazy bitches be like. So know? pretentious, yeah. Well, what you gotta do is, you gotta, you gotta cut him off from the start, but that's how I know he's a nice guy, you gotta cut him off at the start. Right. Cause, you know, she's up there talking wild shit, right. and throwing shit at you, I mean, you got all the money in the world. Right. And, I didn't think she was that pretty, I was like, I looked at her, I said, this is a crazy motherfucker. No, she's not, no, no. But, you know, it's, in, it's, it's, you know, it's easy to get locked up into a, a relationship like that. Right, it is. I don't really even care to talk about it. Because as we worry about Johnny Depp, we, we got threats of people dropping nuclear weapons on our head. I know. Like, is this not an issue? I know. And I don't give a fuck. Like I told you before, blow me through the goddamn wall. You know what? Uh, Put me out my misery. Yeah, get us out. Get us out. Um. Setting up in this bitch and like, and like, Mr. like Hollywood and do some shit. I don't know what. Um. I got hot. Ah, I got a few things here. I'm juggling. Dude, we got some stuff. hot beats tonight, dude. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> um. A quick little thing that I put together that I thought was a fun Let's idea. Do it. And it's, yeah, it's sort of like the game that we normally play. Um, so, Mr. Please. <laughs> no, please take it away from me. Take it away. Okay, so, um, I'll, I'll have you pick. Two cards of these four, and um, like I said, I, I kind of have my own way of doing things. Um, this is tarot or anything stupid like that. It's just a game, and um, you know which each one of these cards means anyway. But that doesn't really matter. I just need you to pick two of these cards and. The first one is going to correspond to an animal. The first animal is going to be the one that resonates with you now. And then the second card is going to correspond to a second animal, which will be the one that you want to resonate with. So are you willing to play this? It's going to be simple. Pretty easy. I think. Won't be lengthy. So here we go. Okay, I, man, I saw it before you even flipped it over. Okay, 
so you got the jack of clubs folks i don't know if you saw that but anyway that's what he has so jack of clubs that's gonna be animal number one and that's the sloth so it says introspective and at one with nature so much so that you literally wear nature in your fur everywhere you go you reflect the environment you came from. You're very thoughtful and not in a hurry to get anywhere because the world will keep turning with or without you. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, okay, I remember that page. <laughs> I remember that page. So that was a jack of clubs and um, I associate that with the boneyard. You always pick the boneyard card. That's transcendence. It represents transcendence in the past and future. So that's the first one. So would you say, do you feel like you resonate with the sloth? I have been lately. Okay. It's, it's normally not my thing. Okay. You want to talk about it? Sloth? Yeah, I'm talking about it. Yeah. I'm shit. It says you're introspective. Lately I have, but... Amazingly, five months. I feel my life has just flown by. Yeah. And it's terrifying me because I'm used to running all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you know, waking up, taking shower, doing push-ups every morning, and just taking out the day. But now I'm just, I'm, I'm waking up and my face is crusted in my own drool. Oh, like you said, you've been dreaming now? You've been sleeping? And I just have these weird dreams. Okay. You don't, we don't have to talk about that. I don't want to. No, we don't want to talk about We don't want to talk about that. Is this on? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Let's do one on. Okay, one, this is the last one. You just pick two cards, so just pick one more here. Got the jack of clubs. What do, you, ah, what do you got there? Oh man, every time. Okay, you switch between the king of hearts and the jack of clubs all the time. Now the king of hearts was the tavern card, and um, that represents the worldly vices and changes in yours or in other lives. So for that one, you have number three, the monkey. Mischievous and highly adaptable. You will steal what you need if you have to. You bear a strong attachment to family, but tend to quarrel with them often. You quarrel. <laughs> yeah, you don't really strike me as a monkey, but so apparently the second animal is the one that you want to resonate with the most, which I think is peculiar. So you want to be mischievous and adaptable. Mischievous and adaptable. <laughs> you're cute. You said when you were little, you said you look like a monkey. No, I look like a fucking monkey. <laughs> little monkey, you're cute. What well, the fuck is Santa doing? What is he doing? Uh-oh. This bird is doing. This bird is. He's over there shaking his head. I think he's getting into it. He likes I think music. This might be his jam. Yeah. Well, before the show. I he, think this might be his jam. He, he was, was over uh, there doing this. Before the show, he was. He was doing this. <laughs> like, I was like, what the fuck is going on? He was kissing his mirror before we started. Don't you fucking start with me. Don't do it. When I look at you, you speak. Don't turn your back. See, this month it's was great. five deaths and just a second ago, and then he's like, hello, there he goes, there he yeah, goes. Man. There he goes. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Beautiful face and a beautiful painting. Yeah, that's the painting, folks. Yeah, that's when I lived in New Jersey in the attic of a Puerto Rican's cabinet. And 
and I had a TV and a radio. Oh, well, so it's yeah, it's me in the attic listening to my radio and TV. You look like you're kind of just zoning out. Look at that. Yeah, that's kind of what would happen because it was. There's you know, a pathway. There wasn't much else way. to do, and you didn't have no money. Right. But you were just kicking it, you know? Yeah. Young, young, good times, you know? <laughs> Sanford has become a real that, that, icon. That just, that just turned into a whole thing. He's taking over the show. He has been called a distinguished gentleman. He's been called ugly. He's been called, he's been called everything. A bitch? A bitch, he's been gone. <laughs> he's had threats made to him. He's... <laughs> you know what the threat is. What's the threat? What do you threaten him? Well, it's the Persian shield. Mister... Did you want to explain that? That pain? Well, it says in the First World War, how can you explain the First World War when everyone had their own... I don't even know what the fuck that is. I would say interest. It just so happened the Germans had the upper hand. Some right. would say they had instigated the New World Order. And then you've got this fucking guy. Really? Dude, he's battling these pipes. These bitches are lost. He's fucking out there trying to make money for cheeseburgers. <laughs> and he don't want these bitches to be lost. He's trying to save save the world. But what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? The new world order? The hammer coming down on you, and you out there folding pipes. Ho! Oh, look! Who's in the bushes? Is it Himmler? No. Is it Himmler? It's Is just it Himmler? the pedophile just looking for them bitches. But, you know, at least you're on the lookout. Alright, what do you want to know? My favorite. Your theory? Your theory on what? <clears throat> I like theories. Oh man, I got, I got a lot. Of... What do you, oh, oh man, did I turn this off? Well... I left this telephone off. How do donkeys survive? How do they... Well, can... Well, here's the thing, like, that's a good question because some of these large animals, I look at them and I'm like, how do they even do it? And wow. also... You know, I judge people by, like, the facial structure. Right. And I know a stupid person just by the width of their eyes. Right. But they spin them on. Yeah. There's certain wrinkles in the face when somebody talks to you, and I know you're lying. Right. But the best thing is, go with it. Yeah. Because you've got the upper hand. You already said but they certain wrinkles in the face when somebody's lying or not telling the truth. And you could sit there and you could talk to them. And you ask them certain questions, you'll see them pop up and I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. this, this guy is a fucking mama. Right. Sorry thing is, is I found that there's too many of them. Yeah. Well, my biggest deal is, man. What was that? I think my tape recorder is still playing. Oh, okay. Yeah, the intro. Okay. Um. Like I said, I just, I, I, I want to leave the house. Go get something. Leave me the fuck yeah, alone. Yeah, just something simple, right. Thing is, I'm a piece of shit. I know it already. No. I don't got no money. Oh. But yeah, they still pulling at me. I found it. I found it. Yeah, hang on Folks, that spring. I found it. I fix it, man. I 
Check out the spring. It's only Mike stand I ever had. And I'm pissed off because I broke it. I'm glad I found it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just worried I would step on it. So, Check it out. Check it out. Remember Stephen Brawl? Stephen Brawl. That's Brule. another thing. The winning game. Stephen Brawl. There's parts in that show where he reminds me of Stephen Brawl. Oh, Stephen Brawl, right from Check It Out. <laughs> because he was Stephen Brawl in that show. Yeah, he was. We want to know and where they I'll are. I'll show you twenty dollars of love. Yeah, it was for snacks. It was the money that they From had. From city hall to city mall. <laughs> right. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> right. From city hall to city mall. I want to see them bitches. These bitches had snacks. They had twenty-five dollars worth. Man, just to spend on man, snacks. Don't don't let me go over. Man, let me tell you something. Where are they? Uh, you know where they are? I'll tell you where they are. Are they in a I'll, ditch? I'll tell you. I'll tell you where them bitches are. Are they in the Hudson? Are they in the Hudson River? No. They where are they? Um, on 440. We just go down 440. But under the turnpike. Ooh, yeah. There's a Dunkin' Donuts. They're there? And I went up in there to get some donuts. And you just have a hooker walk up to you. That's scary. And say, you want a good time? <laughs> and I said, I thought I was having a good time. I guess <laughs> you want a donut? Jelly-filled donuts, yeah. Like, right. nah, man, I was fresh off the boat. I was like, Chocolate what? cream? No, I remember. Did you offer her a donut? Did you offer her a donut? <laughs> That's sweet. No, no, the That's thing sweet. is, I thought she might be on a cup or something. I don't know, man. I feel bad for I, you. I was just... It's so scary. What I didn't know. I, 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 I was in the Heights, in Newark, New Jersey. That's the two of the first places. Hey, like, I'd never seen a hooker before. Really. Right. I never walked up on one. But Dunkin' Donuts, that's where you get them. Dunkin' Donuts. And if you don't get a hooker, you're going to fucking buy a fucking newspaper from the crackhead under the bridge. Right. Or are you going to get stabbed one way or another? Yeah. But the shit was unreal and I loved it. Yeah. But that was the first time I was like, I never had somebody else like, hey baby. Hey, I don't know, you want a, uh, a Krispy Kreme? Yeah. <laughs> no shit. I was like, what? Right. <laughs> I was like, when I was back, back in my day, when I wanted a date, I had to take it to the movies. And right. I was like, over some donuts. Over some donuts. Go to Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. I'm, I'm trying to remember. I, I think, I think it's outside Newark, New Jersey. I know it's around the turnpike. You can get all kind of bitches. All kinds, yeah. If you want that sort of thing. That's your thing, right. That's your thing. It's scary. But I was like, <laughs> but it's they, they so cool about it. Oh, I know. No, they so cool about yeah. it. It's, it's not about it, but I'm like, yeah. If my wife sees me talking oh, to you, uh -oh. she's gonna stab me. Oh no. Ray. First That's wife. Your ex ex wife, <laughs> yeah. Second wife. Sure yeah. won't be a third. Yeah, there won't be a third, no. Right. Gosh. I mean It's too much. It's too much. No. No, it's too much. Well, Oh man, I, I love the Puerto Rican culture, Enough. but stabbing is a real danger. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. That will fuck you up so quick. I see. But man, love that dude. It's it's off the chain 24/7. But so 
say something. Say something about Jesus. See how quick you get stabbed. Yeah, a lot of them are, are very Give religious. Give us mic up my hand before I say some incrimination. Right. Very religious. But the thing is, like, I, I admire the the passion and everything. Oh, it's I like, love it. And, and really, I love, um, like, the, the strong sense of family, too. You know, they're the... They, they will take you in. <laughs> They'll take you in as family. It's just that when these motherfuckers get angry, it is bad. It is bad. <laughs> and I'm thinking of one, <laughs> I'm thinking of one motherfucker right now. And do you know, every time I look in the mirror, I think if you say his name like four times, he's going to pop up and say you're a piece of shit. I still think if you say his name like <laughs> four times, we're going to... That day we were watching Tokyo Vice. We were eating the best sandwiches. We had the best sandwiches. So good, delicious. We were just about to eat. He calls up and he chews you out over this harmonica that you, it's your harmonica, you bought it, made in Germany. And he had a problem with it because it's not American made. Well, you got mad. But the thing Went is, up I on was fact checking it. Tirade, on. yeah. It is, the thing is, he got mad because I fact checked him. He was, everything right. he said. He was contradicting himself. The thing himself. is, I'm not as stupid as I look. No. Every 10 minutes, I draw back what he said before and it was contradicting what he That's said. That's right. Yeah, and but you were so well spoken. You were so calm and collected. I mean, I was actually very taken with that because this man would cuss no, you out, and you my brother, you are so nurturing. Like you would do nothing no, to harm him. No, However, I punched that mug in the right. face one day. <laughs> However, you they said to turn the boxing match off right. because I hit him with a one, two, three. But you said him straight though. I mean, but I don't know straight. if you want to talk about that. No, that was his deal. And I, I'm not giving nothing out, but right, you right. know, and he claimed to be a boxer, and I right. said, well, I don't think his strategy's right, and I told him I said, stand up. Yeah. And whether you like it or not, yeah. let you be known, since I was born, I was raised by fighters and killers, right. and I know about the footwork. Mm -hmm. I hit him with a, a fucking jab, jab, and a right hook to send this motherfucker so far into the couch we had to put a stake on his face. Yeah. And I said, see what I mean? Right. And they had to cut off the paper here. We was laughing so hard, but you know, we was having fun. Yeah. To do too much of that yayo, yeah. you get confused. Right. Right. But you never know who you're talking to. And I love it. Like you said. And the thing is, <laughs> one of my one of my greatest talents. I don't. I can't use. Oh, I know. It was like I said. Uh, I was raised to kill. But, oh. Oh, I know. Right. I was raised not by wolves. No, not the and that's not, kill. that's not right. a lie. You, you can tell. Mm -hmm. You won't even hear me coming up behind you. No, it, it's scary. <laughs> it's very but, scary. But, you know, that, that's, you know, that's yeah. not to take lightly. No, 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 no. Respect. No. However, that, you know, but I get made fun of because they think I'm puny. No. Because I look thin, but, yeah, try me one time. Hell no. What, what do you got? Give me something. We're going into a dark grave. We're going into the gray waters. I don't think so. We're going into the gray waters. Into the gray waters. Yeah, that's what they said in it. Because that's doo-doo water. Gray water. Doo-doo water, yeah. Well, that's that's the whole thing about... You know, the, the concept, the story of it is it's it's fascinating. Now, it, it takes place in Maine, this, this story. Supposedly, it takes place in Maine. Now, Maine has actually been one of those states that has influenced many different stories, oh, it's many different it's franchises. It's Scary, yeah. Um, because it has a very dark history. And um, so... What it seemed like in the story about it is the land was cursed. I know Sanford wants to talk about it. He wants to talk. He knows all about it. He knows. Oh! <laughs> he didn't. No, he didn't want to talk. He didn't want to talk. Yeah, 
you don't want to touch it because I think what happened is, from, from what it sounds like, the whole land that encompassed the town of Derry in the story It was sacred land. That's what I think. I think it was originally inhabited by probably native tribes. It was a sacred land, and when I, I would say that when settlers came in and, and slaughtered and raped and everything and destroyed the people who were there, I think the blood itself is what tainted the land. But it was probably probably like a paradise at one time. No, so it place. was. Right. Because they lived up the Yeah. That's what I think. They, they, they uh, farmed and lived up the land. And they did everything themselves. Stewards of the earth, as my mother would say. You had to what, be a steward what, what of the earth. Is, yeah. A, a comet fell from space. It injected aliens. Yeah. And not um, and they, they, they think they might be archangels, archangels. They could. They certainly could be. I've thought of that. Yeah. But Maine is one of the major imports where they were coming at first. Right. And they just, but when you murder people, and William S. Burroughs said it best. Mm-hmm. He moved to Mexico because America was old blood land and it's old pharmacist who was the wisest man I knew around him. Right. Oh, he's probably dead now. He wouldn't come where I live because he said, that's blood land. Yeah. He said, there's too many hoot owls. He knows. And then he drove off on a lawnmower. He knows. And that was the greatest fucking thing I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> but he was so a funny. geologist. Right, right. He would dig up, but he said, I don't go up there. No. Because he said where we live, it was, what it belonged the? to the natives. Yeah. And he said he wouldn't, he doesn't go up there. That's smart, though. That's very smart. Oh. He drove a fucking lawnmower, but he had, I, I told this so many times, he had newspapers of the John F. K. assassination when it yeah. happened, lining up his little trolley he carried attached to a lawnmower to keep <laughs> it from getting ruined. He did not give two Didn't fucks. Care. No. But he said he would never come nowhere near him. I know why. Yeah. No, he said. But he's a, a historian. Yeah. But he owned everything in the museum and mm -hmm. he sold everything and got him a nice retirement home. Right. Oh man, old Jim. Yeah, but he was actually a very intelligent man. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was fucking, dude, he knew everything. He knew everything about pills, drugs. He would bring his divorcee <laughs> and his kids to come he see him. He said, this doctor. is their doc. Yeah. He said, this is their doctor. <laughs> I told you about, he, called, yeah. he thought I was a doctor. Ever since I met him, he swore I was a doctor. Amy, you are. I think you are. No, I well, think you are. We'll see. I think so. Yeah. Fast mind. The other interesting thing, getting back to Maine, which was uh, the setting for it. Um, anyone who's ever lived in Maine knows that it gets foggy very often, and uh, because of all the waterways naturally. But it is um, said that in areas where the fog is more present, that spirits are more active. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, but it, it, has, it does have an eerie vibe. It's also a beautiful state, too. But um, it does have a very dark, dark history, no doubt. Um, so, yeah, I mean, could a place like that with the dark history be infested with some kind of dark energy? No doubt. And, um, I think that uh, all the bloodshed is what, of, of all the innocent people, that is what really tainted the land itself. That's my theory, but I don't know. 
Um, it's just hard to believe that such a beautiful place could be so dark, you know? And I, like I said, I think at one time, I mean, it might have been like a paradise. Um, gosh. <laughs> wow. I'm not leaving this episode until I finish that third video. Okay, well, we're at 51.34. Um, no, it, it really doesn't. Um, also, you're scaring the folks. They, they were very nervous about this last beer. Um, they think that a clown is going to pop out of it. <laughs> they think that the clown is going to pop out. That's another thing, too. Why a clown? Why, in the story, it, why would there be a clown that would lure in all these innocent kids? Well, I mean, some people think that clowns are creepy, but... Clowns were actually a, typical at birthday parties. They were, they were a main like attraction, a, a means of entertainment for the kids. So naturally, a clown would be the one to lure in children, right? But yeah, I would agree. I don't think clowns are that. I don't think they're that fun. <laughs> I think they're creepy. <laughs> and I know my brother, he's terrified of them. <laughs> He can't stand them at all, which I think is funny. I don't know how he could finish that book. He read the entire book by Stephen King. But, pretty fun. Now, like, the only thing I haven't watched is the original It. Mr., uh, do you know when that was released, the original It movie? Was it 70s, maybe? Or, I don't know. Because I've never seen it. Uh. I think it was the 80s. Okay. Yeah, I've never seen it. I know I was a kid. Yeah. yeah you said it was really creepy. <laughs> huh? You said it was really creepy. Yeah. Very scary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My brother was in Stephen King. So I said a lot of people don't know. He used to read a lot of books. Yeah. And but he acts too. Right. Pussy lips can't be free. Dead babies in TV dinners, Ozzy meets Harry. Maybe someday, maybe someday, I can't 
can't find a way. Bye-bye, Demont. Bye-bye. Here we go. One more.